Hey y'all, it's Wit uh, with another Slater session. Uh, I just want to take a second today to answer some questions that we've had come up around kind of what this is and um, what we are trying to do with it. Um, so Slater came about uh, after you know we've been working with Webflow for years. We love the platform. Uh, we had started extending into doing a lot more JavaScript on top of what the already amazing Webflow capabilities are. And we just kept trying to figure out a better way to not only host our JavaScript, but also just test our JavaScript. So we had gone through different generations using GitHub and Netlify to deploy JavaScript up to a CDN to, uh, to test so we weren't having to publish every time we adjusted the JavaScript. Um, but then when the OpenAI stuff kind of started coming out, we were like, wait a minute, this is a, a great opportunity to not only build a, an in-browser development environment, but something that could be a good tool uh, for people to use to learn JavaScript and work with it and also host their JavaScript uh, that they'd use in their projects and all of that. So that was kind of where Slater came from. And it, uh, if you break it down, it's an acronym. It stands for Scripting Layer and Testing Environment Resource. Um, the metaphor of surfing kind of came about, I'm a big surfer, grew up surfing, um, but we were thinking about it in terms of kind of the old um, surfing the net, you know, back from the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, but also thinking about it in the context of, you know, when you start surfing, just like when you start anything else, it's daunting, you know, and, and JavaScript is no different. Uh, so it was kind of thinking about these things that we see as maybe insurmountable waves uh, in learning and writing JavaScript and working that into our projects as being a way to teach and kind of facilitate people learning to use that capability for themselves, but also to use it with Webflow. Um, so that's where it all kind of came from. Uh, the, you know, the thinking being that these problems that we're trying to figure out that are, um, you know, working within Webflow, but extending the capabilities are like these waves. And, you know, when you look at the waves from the shore, it's whew. But then you get out there and you learn how to handle them and work with them. Then you can stay out in front of them. And, uh, it's pretty fun. So that was kind of where that came from. But we're kind of still working to evolve the platform. Uh, you know, we're working on a lot of different features and functionalities. We're soliciting a lot of feedback from different people. And we're really interested to know in what y'all think and what you need um, from the platform. So I would encourage you to reach out. Uh, we have a Slack channel you can join. Um, hit us up on Twitter, anything like that. But uh, hopefully you find it useful and uh, we'll see you out there.